Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to fix common animation issues like character floating, sliding, tilting, jittering, flipping, and gestures by using the new motion correction tool. This tool is especially useful if you're using a mocap device for recording, as the raw mocap data often requires certain tweaks and fixes. The motion correction tool utilizes the reach target feature, so please ensure that you're familiar with that feature by checking out the reach target tutorial. In this first example, we have a character with a tentative forward walking motion that contains some very obvious foot sliding. This can often occur when you are using animations in which your character is changing world position. Let's explore how we can fix this by right clicking on the clip and opening up the motion correction tool. In the panel, you'll see that there is a list of body parts, including hands, feet, and toes. Below that are a number of part settings, which we'll discuss a bit later. At the top is a drop down menu for different motion correction presets. Each one of these is used for a different type of motion correction scenario. Notice that when you choose a different preset, that the target body parts and part settings change. In this case, we're only using a slow walking motion, so we simply need to select the normal standing preset here. This preset will select both left and right feet as well as the toes. Let's just keep the default part setting parameters and go down to hit correct. When we do, you'll see that a number of footprints will appear on the ground plane in the direction of the character's movement. If we look at the timeline, you'll notice that a number of dope sheet keys will appear above the motion clip as well, indicating refinements made to the positioning of the feet using the reach target feature, which we'll see a bit later. If we play back, you'll see that the footstep positioning has been stabilized to an extent. However, in a lot of cases, you may need to add minor tweaks here and there. The threshold value in the part settings is generally used to reduce jittering like we see in this corrected walk. But in this case, we're going to keep the value as is. What I'm going to do here is extend the transition duration for improved motion blending. Once I increase this value, you'll notice a bit of a smoother step as the character's foot reaches the footprint. The reach and release duration parameters here determine how long the foot remains planted for. If we reduce the reach duration and bring up the release duration a bit, we can ensure that the foot doesn't remain planted for too long, helping us achieve a smoother transition. Once those parameters are adjusted, we can hit the correct button again and review the results. Now things look a lot smoother and the footsteps are stabilized. Like I mentioned previously, the motion correction tool utilizes the reach target feature to ensure proper placement of your character's extremities. Let's open up the reach tracks in the timeline and take a closer look. Once we do, you can see that the reach targets have been activated on all the body parts selected in the motion correction panel, including both feet and toes. If we scrub forward in the timeline here, you can see that as long as one of the feet is planted, that the reach target of that foot track will remain active. When it's ready to take a step, then the constraints on the toe and foot are released for that side. The reach duration set in the motion control panel determines the number of frames that pass until the foot is fully constrained, while the release duration determines the number of frames until a constraint begins to release. A positive value means the timing will blend future frames, while a negative value will blend from earlier frames. If you want to see the results of these parameter tweaks, then you'll need to press the correct button once again after you change the parameters. However, transition duration can be tweaked in real time. You can see the transition area increase or decrease as that parameter is changed in the motion correction window. The footprints added from the motion correction tool will appear as an object in your scene manager. Their look depends of course on the correction and edits you've originally made using the tool. You can easily show them if you need them as a reference or hide them when you're ready to render or want to clean up the scene. For our last scenario, let's look at the hands. Here we have a guy crawling along the ground, and we're going to use the same motion correction tool to stabilize the hand positions. Let's open up the tool again, and this time for the preset I'm going to choose hands, and just click on correct. You'll see that this time, hand prints will appear on the ground plane. If we play back, the hand position will fall exactly on those hand prints. We can again tweak the timing of the constraints by using the reach tracks in the timeline. Sometimes you may want to do this to ensure that a hand or foot stays in position once it's planted for a certain amount of time. You can also adjust the positioning of the constraints manually by selecting an individual handprint and rotating it as well. 
Being able to manipulate the constraint dummy position for each hand is also useful if you want to change the position of your hand or foot in order to crawl over something or take steps up a flight of stairs. Here what I'm doing is just changing the transform position of this one constraint dummy in order to have the hand positioned over a rock. Once I do that and make the rock visible, then you can see the result. You can further tweak the dummy position and that of individual fingers as well for a refined result. That's it for this tutorial guys. Hopefully you learned a bit about how the motion correction tool is incredibly useful when stabilizing motions, as well as interacting with other characters and props. You can learn more about these and other scenarios in other tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.